Que rollo con el pobre, my joy seekers. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. So before we get started with today's video, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a joy seeker today. Trust me, this channel has a little bit of everything. You won't regret it. With that being said, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be doing today is finding We're going to continue house shopping. I really don't want to be making these videos. Why? Because I just want to settle down. I just want to just choose one house already and hope we can get it. It doesn't work like that. It sucks, you know. What happened with the last house is that we offered. Unfortunately, somebody had the cash and they offered the cash. So they stole the house from us, you know. It sucks because we fell in love with the house. But that's how it works. Con dinero vale el perro. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard that quote. But it's okay. We're not giving up here. Today, we're going to be looking at three houses. The other difference between the other vlog and today's vlog and the sad part is that my parents are actually on vacation in Las Vegas with my sister. So unfortunately, they're not going to be able to come with us. And some of you guys are going to be wondering, why can't you just wait for them to come back? They're gone for a week. And the thing is, like I'm telling you guys, these houses are selling super, super quick. So within like in three days, these houses are selling. So I feel like if I wait, by the time they come back, those houses are going to be sold, you know. But either way, I'm going to be trying to find something um, that we're all going to like, you know. We already know what we kind of want. Um, so that's not a problem. I'm going to be FaceTiming them while I'm looking at them as well. So they're going to be looking at the houses. But yeah, enough talking. Let's hit the road and let's go look at these houses. Hopefully one of them will be ours soon. We are finally arriving to the first house of the day that we're going to be checking out. And it's here at a cul-de-sac or a cul-de-sac, whatever, however the hell you say it. And that, which is really, really good. Uh, it's this one right here, I believe. This beautiful home right here. And I have good news, guys, I have good news. Look it, there is another cut here on my block. So let's get off and let's check it out. So this is the front view right here. Check it out. It's beautiful. Look at that three, three door garage, two story. And there is my realtor. So look at this backyard. It's super spacious, big, huge. It's a huge backyard. Be pretty badass to build a pool here eventually. And there's a gate. We could bring in cars or trucks, whatever, RVs. Check it out guys, this is the upstairs we come up and all the rooms are located upstairs. This is the master. It's not as big as the other houses that we were looking at. But hey, shout out to the Catholic. My daughter's already getting comfy in the bed. And this one comes with a view for the backyard. Show you guys. All the neighbors have a inflatable pool. And then this one has a, a big Restroom, the tub, shower. They have a toilet right here. And then they have a walk-in closet. You know, super sick, super sick. So this one has double safety. Like you lock that one and then you lock this one. You like it? You wanna go in there and take a shower? No. No? Not my shoe. Okay. This is master and then to the right is another small little room nothing too crazy with another closet so in here they have a little closet for the salapes you know my mom's gonna have this filled up and right here's another restroom and then right next to it is another another bedroom and I believe this one has a view to the Yep, to the front view. So this would be pretty cool for me, you know? Check out the Mama Whiskey's posted up. And then here there's another room. So all the rooms are upstairs, but there's a, a there's a girl in there, so we don't want to do, uh, interrupt their privacy. And then there's another room for the laundry. Pretty cool. So this is the gate that I was talking about that you just open up, and then you could drive your, your cars in there. But the, they have another gate back here. They said that they just built this just for decoration, so it looks nice. But they haven't destroyed the one in the back because the dog's a silent because he fits. So obviously, if we like get this house for ourselves, we would destroy that and have a lot of parking because three trucks fit in there, and then another I want to say another six fit here, and then I want to say another five just all all the way inside. So we're gonna keep shopping for trucks. Quick little update, guys, on that one. I didn't do too much recording on certain parts like the sala and then downstairs. Why? Because they were actually there, the family was there, and they were enjoying a movie in the living room. So upstairs, nobody was up there, so that's how uh, we were able to record good, you know? Like I said, I don't wanna um, invade anybody's privacy. But basically, you guys got the hint. You got, uh, I try to record as much as I can. 
Uh, but yeah, right now we're on our way to another house. Um, I was told that we're gonna be looking at three. So far we knocked one down, we got two more and we're on our way right now. So we'll turn on the camera in a little bit and check it who's about to pass by. El Roins Roins de mi mamá. Y un tacuache. Hell yeah, I'm loving this area so far. So we are arriving to the, the second house, the new block. And it is this one right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the number one that I wanted to come see. So check it out. So look at this backyard, guys. It needs a lot, a lot, a lot of work. You know, there's no grass. Everything's dead here. There's nothing literally here in the backyard. The good thing is that me and my dad do this for a living, so this would be no problem for us. But hey, a little pool right here, you know? I keep mentioning pools. I really want a pool. But plus, this one is beautiful from the inside, though. So this is downstairs. I believe there's one room right here. So this is pretty cool. Looks like a studio. Look at that. It's random many wrappers here. There's a bathroom downstairs. And then there is the laundry room. And then they have a camera. They have a camera that lets you know right now, uh, oh, it's disarmed, whatever. Right now, we, right now we, we were able to see the uh, the view from the people who knock at the front of the door. Very spacious. Fireplace. Beautiful kitchen. The best part, a three-door garage. One, two, and then the third one right there. That's for sure, little blue. This is another living room. That's the main door. We go upstairs now. Um, Hi. Look at this room. Look at this. Look at this. This is a small little office. Maybe I could have my office right here, this corner, edit my videos. And there's more rooms up here. There's a bathroom right here. It, it looks like, it looks like this is a kid room. And this one is the room that I like, cause like I said, I can see my my truck. I can point out the AR-15 right here. As I told you guys last time, da, 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 da. Do you like it, the wall? It's colorful. Blue, hot, right, it's smart, it's smarty pants. And right next to the kid room, there's another room. And this one has a front view as well. Right here, another AR, maybe an RPG. <laughs> Just kidding. And another thing is we're, we're looking at cold sacks, which is good. So we could be doing donuts. Ya se la saben. Just burning out. She can't my cut. Before I move in, look how it looks. Clean. No tire marks. When I move in, all freaking burnt. Puro, puro tire marks. Just kidding, guys. We're gonna go introduce ourselves to our neighbors and be good neighbors. And then there is, I believe this is the master room. Super, super, super big. Nice. Beautiful, look at this. We keep looking at houses with tubs. That's, that's the real dream right there. There's my cute ass. Shower, walk-in closet. And then another restroom. And then here we get a view of a street. So we don't have back neighbors, we have a street view. Check it out. Los vecinos son cursed. I mean, la pata. Beautiful houses, beautiful neighbors. Hopefully they're not grumpy. Okay, guys, so check it out. This is the last house we're going to be looking at. It looks brand new. The artificial grass. Only bad thing is just two garage, but it looks super fancy. Look at the little playground. <laughs> Look at the little playground in the back. This is the kitchen. I guess these are all cellars. See. Look at the backyard. Not too much of a big backyard, but it's pretty fancy. This kitchen is nice. So this is really good. I can already picture my mom making me some tamales. You guys already know the vibes. And then there's a room 
down here with the closet. This gives you a view of the backyard a little bit. There's more. And then from the backyard right here as well. The AC. That's the backyard. And I believe there's a restroom for look at this really nice. So this is really good. And then the best part, ladies and gentlemen. Garage. Door. The, the garage. The man cave. Very nice flooring. And then this little thingy majigger speaks. So somebody tries to rob my house. Huh? I told you guys I was a letter. Look it upstairs. Up we go. Wow, so look at this guys. There's a small little like office or whatever it is. This could even be a little room. Or my office. We get a view of the street. If you guys are if you guys are paying attention, aquí sacamos que. <laughs> Just kidding, I asked on my whiskeys. Looking good. Look at that sticker. Whole life or no life. What do you think of this one? Oh my god, this is a big room right here. This is the master. Same thing, beautiful view. Super big, super big. And then this one has a walk-in closet. Super big, nice. Love it, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at this one. Look at this one, let's see. Oh my God, this is another room. So I don't know if this is the master room or the other one, but this one is huge as well. Oh, jeez. Another walk-in closet. Toilet. My cute self. Shower. Oh no, another walk-in closet. Oh my God. Damn. Oh, you can see over there. Oh, you can see the roof, the neighbors. We could just stalk them, you know. Okay. Start each day with a grateful heart. I'm gonna have to buy this one then. Daughter's all happy. Look at her, man. This is why we work hard. Laundry room. Very big. More rooms over here. Another restroom up here. And this is another room right here. See, so these rooms are, are pretty bigger. I see a soccer ball room, right? Mm -hmm. You like soccer or no? No. Well, this is sports. Basketball, football. We see our neighbors, you know. Sorry, neighbors, you guys don't have privacy, but don't worry, we don't either. So, yeah, and I believe this is the closet, right? Let's see, open it up. Yeah. Oh, so all of them have some walk-in closets. Look at my daughter. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you want to buy that? No. No? Okay. I want to buy it, but I guess not. It's a beautiful house. This is a very beautiful house. So, ladies and gentlemen, we just got back from the house shopping. Today was actually a very, very successful day. Um, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and my family's thoughts on the three houses. So, our thoughts on the first one is that there's four rooms and they're all upstairs. So, downstairs is just super huge living room. Like I said, I couldn't record because they were there. Um, the kitchen was super super nice and fancy um the only bad thing is that the rooms are not too big out of the three houses i think um that house has the smallest rooms um, but the good thing is that we love that backyard um from the three houses the backyard was the biggest you know so maybe eventually we get the house maybe we could build a pool um it has enough space for a pool so we love that house's um backyard but either way it's a nice house we wouldn't mind owning it so our thoughts on the second house is the rooms are a little bit bigger in the second house the backyard is a little bit smaller, um, but it's still there. It's not too small. The only bad thing about that house is that the backyard, it, there's literally nothing. Like, like I feel like the people who live there, I feel like they don't even step out outside to the backyard because there's literally nothing. They don't even have a single chair, a single plant, nothing. Um, the grass is all dead. Like I told you guys, the good thing is that me and my dad know how to do that. So as of right now, our interest in the backyard, it, it doesn't call our attention. Like I said, we got to trust the process. Me and my dad will convert that backyard super bad house will turn it green well plants concrete all that good stuff um the good thing about that house is that the inside is super brand new well taken care of it's very very fancy and i forgot to mention the first house and the second house my favorite my most important favorite part is i told you guys in the first vlog is that i love the three i'm loving the three um door garages for my trucks and the last house is a newer house it was built in 2018 so it was built three years ago as you guys can tell it's super super brand new you know so that's that's a very very positive thing because we don't got to worry about maintenance 
or like the, the, the house being old, being destroyed, you know, we, we could count on that house for a good amount of years. The only bad thing about that house is that from the three of them, it has the smallest backyard. I mean, it doesn't have a three door garage, you know? So all these three houses are unique and in their certain ways. Um, but either way, we lo we love the three of them. You know, we wouldn't mind living in, in any of the three. So with that being said, I actually put an offer on each three of the houses. Um, so in a couple of days, we should get a response on um, if somebody beat us to them or if we are the lucky new owners. So we just gotta play the waiting game. Um, but like I said, uh, we wouldn't mind living in any of these houses. So let's just hope and pray that we keep at least one of them. And that's about it, guys. But please do me a favor and smash that like button if you guys are enjoying these um, house shopping videos. Hit me down below in the comment section with which house do you guys think best suits us. Uh, which one do you guys like? What are you guys' opinions on the houses? If you're new to the channel, become a majority ticket by subscribing to not miss out. And so you can find out which, which one of these houses might be ours. We'll see you guys in my next vlog. Peace.